people come here for the first time, mainly to a, a social function, um, I say, good heavens, I never knew this place existed. It's not uh, actively political, it's a social club, basically. Although it's called a conservative club, it's not. You, you very rarely would hear politics talked about much here. Not that we're anti-politics, it's just that it's, that's not the purpose of it, it's a social club. I'm uh, the president of the Farnham Working Men's Conservative Club, and uh, I've been a member here for about 40 years, so I've seen a few changes. It was very formal, um, and of course we were the young whippersnappers really, you see, in those days. But society's changed tremendously. It's much more informal. It was quite different 40 years ago. I think it is 40 years. And uh, I was always told that a bunch of retired brigadiers ran the club, and if you didn't meet with their approval, you didn't get in. It's a very, very interesting building. And it's used for many things. We have two full-size snooker tables next door here. Uh, we have teams on billiards and snooker. We're host to a scale electrics company, a group of people that come once a week. When I first came to the uh, Conservative Club, on the outside, the facade of the building is very sort of sedate, relaxed. Um, but then actually you take the climb upstairs um, and you hear the buzz, the sound, the, 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 the noise has been made to these cars. It's just a complete contrast to what you expect from downstairs. I'm, I'm originally from Jersey in the Channel Islands um, and I moved across my job to work in motorsport and uh, Farnham has always been a club that's been on my radar. I actually used to compete in a championship called Slot Rally GB and I was fortunate enough to, to win the championship uh, in 2011. So when I came here it was very much a great club. The, the atmosphere is great, really good bunch of guys, nice track, good cars we run, um, which just makes it really good fun. It's just nice to come here away from, you know, the, the pressures of life and just, uh, just, you know, unwind, play some toy cars and have a laugh. It's part of the hobby throughout the UK, they have what they call swap meets, so it's like a, a car jumble. So when you just go to these places, you have church halls, sports centres, and uh, you can pick up cars for as little as five pounds. Yeah, they might be in a bit of a bad state, but they'll run right up to uh, collectibles, which you know can go for anything up to um, uh, about five hundred pounds. There is an elusive car called the Bugatti, which is a scary street car. Uh, not many of them are made, but if you've got one of those in the loft, then you may they're probably worth about a thousand pounds. So that's the the holy growth of the uh, slot world. And we do specials nights here for you know, uh, and we have, uh, Christmas specials, you know, um, bring some into party and some mulled wine, um, race against the clock, a bit of rallying, that sort of thing. So it's all good luck. Um, theme nights we've had, 1970s, we encourage people to dress up, you know, to sort of, you know, <laughs> if they want to. Uh, American nights, so you, you know, wear your ladder shirt and baseball cap if you want to, so bring the American cars along. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a good, uh, it's a good um, crack. We should have a logo, and the logo should be to do with Mike Hawthorne, who was the 1958 world, Formula One world champion. Uh, famous for wearing a bow tie when he drove. Um, it was part of his little uniform that he had. Mike was a brilliant talent, very precocious, um, liked to drink. Um, he was very much not like any modern Formula One driver. Um, and, uh, as I say, more about Ty, liked a pint, um, he raced mostly for Ferrari and won the 1958 World Championship whilst living in Farnham and then he retired at the end of the year, having won it by, I think, four points uh, from Sterling Moss. Um, and Hawthorne then retired having won the championship because it was a very dangerous period and uh, wanted just to run the garage and was actually killed in a road traffic accident on the A3. And he's just a sort of a fairly big part of Farnham culture, even if people don't realise it or notice it. And motorsport's a big part of Farnham life, really. The Scale Electric Club has had a lot of people from the industry in it, so I work in 
uh, motor racing and a former member is the uh, head of PR for Toyota in the UK. So there's a lot of connection to full-size cars amongst the guys that come here and play with the toy ones. We are now more informal, of course, um, and we like to feel that people can come here and relax, they can have a decent pint of beer if they want it, draft beer. We're all just ordinary people of varying backgrounds and uh, that, that's how it's changed really over, over the years. Um, and uh, well, there it is. <laughs>